Welcome to Buy vs. Friends. Uh, this is a continuation of the conversation that we had in the previous video. We tried to explain why it's becoming harder and harder for average Americans to be able to afford their first home. Uh, and it's even harder for minorities to be able to afford those homes just for a number of reasons. Uh, that'll probably be another video. Uh, but I thought for a change, I would try to look up some programs that are out there to help first time home buyers uh, buy their first home. Um, you know, home ownership is very important. It's, uh, you know, literally part of what, you know, gives you a voice in this country to some extent. Uh, and uh, I, I really encourage everybody to, to take a look at some of these programs to see if it makes sense for you and try to, to see if you can make it work for yourself. The first program that I want to talk about is a Chase Home Buyer Grant. Uh, this grant was started by JP Morgan Chase in 2020, I believe, but it was expanded in 2021, where they're offering up to $5,000 uh, in grant for first time home buyers for uh, minorities that live in qualified neighborhoods. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, everybody needs to go through the program to make sure that it applies to them. But I definitely encourage anybody that qualifies for it to try to take advantage of this program uh, that helps, you know, uh, black people buy, you know, homes in pre predominantly black neighborhoods. And this is going to be important, especially in this day and age where, you know, rent is going up and out of control, people are getting pushed out of the neighborhood. Uh, it's really important to try to take advantage of these programs to see if there's a way that it can help you uh, buy a home. And they offer an additional $500 to home buyers that are able to complete a, a, an education course on real estate, finances, etc. etc. Um, so I feel like this is a really good program. I hope people take a look at it and, and try to see if you know they can take advantage of it. The program started in 2021 and their goal is to help 40,000 families, black or Hispanic, buy a home within the next five years or within the five years, you know since they started, so within the next four years at this point. Um, so definitely encourage, you know, anybody look into this, uh, please share this video to anybody that you think, you know, could take advantage of the program, I should say. The next program that I want to highlight that I thought was uh, pretty interesting is, uh, it's technically two programs offered by Bank of America. Uh, they're offering a lender credit of up to $7,500 that can be used towards uh, non recurring closing costs. So for example, title fees, uh, any sort of um, uh, re recording fees, um, or any additional money that you know goes towards reducing the interest rate. Um, so this is a really great program to take advantage of. Uh, it's not too much to move the needle, but it's a good start. And the additional program that they started is the down payment grant program uh, that offers up to 3% of the home purchase price. Um, up to $10,000. So essentially, um, $10,000, 3%, that would be a $300,000 house approximately. So if you buy a $300,000 house, uh, your down payment $10,000 or a little more, and a 20% uh, down payment would be $60,000. So essentially, if you're doing a 20% down payment, out of those $60,000, you could get up to $10,000 that Bank of America is kind of providing as a grant. Um, so that's really exciting. I, I hope people take advantage of that. And they also offer a 3% down payment mortgage. Um, they try to make this program, uh, you know, a fixed rate loan, uh, which is helpful uh, with a down payment as well as 3%, like I mentioned. Um, the one thing that I don't like about this is that uh, they will still require mortgage insurance, although they say that the mortgage insurance will be lower than the normal rate that. Uh, uh, somebody would normally get if they try to go for the uh, uh, such a low down payment. Um, I'm curious to see how much lower this uh, mortgage insurance is uh, because this is a good way for banks to make a lot of money. So I hope this is not, you know, kind of a, a fake attempt at uh, helping people, but at the same time, you know, making a lot of money. Uh, one thing that would have been really helpful would be to make a 3% down payment with no mortgage insurance that would have been game changer. That would really open the doors up for a lot of minorities and help them get into, uh, get into home ownership. Um, but obviously, you know, you can't get it all. Uh, you know, we'll be happy with what we get for now. And uh, I think, you know, anybody that qualifies for this program should take a look at it to see if uh, they can take an advantage of it and they can safely afford these houses, right? Again, just because these grants are there, doesn't mean that uh, people need to, you know, purchase houses that they can't afford, right? At the end of the day, these are mortgages that are probably gonna be 
Um, I imagine these are 30 year mortgage mortgages. Um, so you're locking yourself in for that payment, for that commitment for 30 years. So uh, you wanna make sure that it's not uh, all of your income essentially. So uh, this was just a couple of examples of programs out there to help first time home buyers. Uh, I just wanted to share that with uh, any viewer or anybody out there that could use it. Uh, even if you, I don't wanna say even if you don't need it, right? But even if you can, you know, you feel like you can afford a house, I hope that you take advantage of these programs uh, that are there to really make a difference because even if you think you can afford it, it's hard to predict, you know, some of the future expenses that are gonna come with home ownership. And this is just gonna give you a little buffer, a little layer of protection for when you buy the house. So, um, you know, let me know if you, what do you think about these programs. I'm gonna make more videos about, you know, either groups, either programs that are there to help people buy houses, especially minorities, or advocacy groups that are out there that are really trying to educate and provide the support uh, that minority first-time homebuyers need. Um, so thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.